questions about horses all the time. I get questions about barns and, and uh, the best way to design a barn. I get questions about tack. And lately, I've gotten lots of different questions about buying used horse trailers. And today, I'm going to cover the top 10 tips that I can give you about buying a used horse trailer because you you want one that's not only comfortable but it's safe now i don't care whether you're buying a, a stock trailer or a side by side um, a slant load whether it's a bumper pull or a gooseneck uh, there are lots of different styles of horse trailers out there but regardless of which style you've decided on you need to know some of the features that you really ought to have and some of the features that if you don't have uh, you ought to stay away from that trailer and you need to know which imperfections are tolerable and which ones are not so let me start by saying this when you go to look at a used horse trailer at somebody's um, facility take a note of the surroundings. Uh, it's, it's funny, but people, you know, human nature plays into all of this. And if you notice that uh, someone's barn is very clean, it's a pristine environment, the uh, fences are well kept up and painted, and the horses are all well cared for, more than likely that person has also taken good care of his trailer. Now, on the other hand, when you go to visit somebody and you see a big old manure pile out front and uh, uh, some of the boards are down on the fencing and the paint is chipping off and that kind of thing, then, you know, you might need to be extra careful when you're looking at that trailer because he's probably treated his trailer the same way he has his barn. So keep that in mind when you go to look at one. The other thing before I get started is to tell you that the trailer that's sitting out in a field because it hasn't been used in a while is going to have a lot more damage. So notice, ask if the trailer has been in use recently. You want one that is being used regularly. Um, if they're parked for a long time, especially if it's out in a pasture on uh, grass, you're more than likely going to have uh, tires that are dry rotted and you'll probably have um, more damage to the underside and the flooring of the trailer because of the, the uh, moisture from the grass that's growing up around it. So you don't want to, uh, to, you want to avoid that situation if at all possible. So ask how long it's been sitting and, and how often it's used. Now, for the 10 tips I can get, give you about uh, evaluating the quality of a used horse trailer, the first thing I want you to do is to look at the framework. Structurally speaking, the framework is the most important thing to examine. Get down on the ground even. Go prepared. When you go to look at a horse trailer, go in your, your grungy clothes because uh, you want to be able to see everything you possibly can. If you get down on the ground and, and go underneath and, and check on the underside of that trailer, you can see uh, if there's a lot of damage. Now, if it's a steel frame, don't be surprised if you see some rust. You're going to have some of that superficial rusting um, and don't be surprised at that. But make sure it's superficial. Um, if you take a, a pocket knife and kind of scrape on that, oh, that uh, steel and it looks like it's, um, it's gotten, um, you know, corroded, um, you really want to stay away from that trailer. You don't want a compromised framework on your trailer. And if it's aluminum, it's uh, probably not going to rust like that, but it will oxidize. And with aluminum trailers, they treat them with an acid uh, that, that protects the aluminum. And um, you need to ask if you see this kind of oxidation on an aluminum trailer, ask and see when the last time it was that it was treated. Secondly, is the trailer floor. Now that should be pretty obvious because that's where your horses are standing. Um, if the trailer, and this is something you'll see all the time, unfortunately, uh, 
the trailers that are used, sometimes people they get home from a long trip, they've been, t they're tired, it's late at night, and they unload their horses, put the horses up, and the trailer sits there. Well, let me tell you, manure and urine, those two substances will rot out a floor faster than you can imagine. So, the, hopefully, the owner of the trailer has cleaned out the trailer every time it's used, and that's the, the best thing to do. But it's probably, more than likely, not going to happen. I have to admit, I, I can't say that I cleaned mine out every single time I used it, but that would be ideal. You're going to want to pull out the mats on the floor. You want to pull them out. They're all going to have these rubber mats that can be moved and look underneath it for any signs of weakness. Now, if you have a wooden floor in a trailer, obviously moisture will um, get it uh, starting in a rotting process and, and that you want to you want to look for that. And if it's, um, if it's not wood, if it's made of um, uh, metal, then you want to make sure that you don't have any rust going on. You want to look for areas of weakness. If you see anything like that, then obviously you might need to consider replacing the floor if you really want that particular trailer. Also, while you're looking at that floor, uh, pay attention to the welded areas to be sure that there's no excessive rust there as well. That, that also would compromise the strength of the flooring.